Hey there folks, how's everyone doing? So, uh, got here another TRS-80 stream. Uh, Pirate Gamer Boy 12 is already here early as usual. Who says the play? He says the player on the cover <laughs> looks like a less than sign. Here's the tape. So yeah, let me take it out of the thing so there's no glare. Uh, well, actually, that no, we have to take the sleeve out. So he does look a little bit like a less than sign. You, you, the TRS-80 is not known for its amazing graphics. So you'll you'll see, I guess, that uh, the graphics here are not amazing. Um, I have uh, another special guest uh, with me this evening. It's it's the the same incredibly special guest I had last time. I had a special guest, which is uh, the Gamers Grotto. I think he went to make a tea, though. I'm not sure if he's if he's actually on the line right now, but he he. No, I'm 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 here. Oh, okay. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good. All right, good. So, Gamers Grotto is going to play some games with me, hopefully. But like, I, what I got here today is two things. First of all, I have this future presentation, which is. Batter Up, a micro baseball game by Carl Savone. Hated computer, hated, hated books made this thing. And then I have another issue of Sea Load Magazine. Um, and this one here, um, there's a note that the previous owner put on there, which I think is important. This one here is August 1979. It was $3.50. This game, I think, the this other one here, I think costs like uh, eight or nine bucks or something like that. And there's a bunch of programs on here as usual, but I am actually excited that I think we may have a good one because one of them is called Hobbit. And I, I think I remember playing that as a kid. I think I had no clue how to play it. It was like a very complex thing, but I think it actually is something interesting. So look forward to that. Pirate Game Boy 12 says, I love me some sea load. That's the, that's the, exactly the right attitude. Well, I forgot to start, to start the Twitch stream. Let me do that. I always forget that. Start the Twitch stream. You, you know, if you put those two words together, it's coefficient hobbit. Coefficient hobbit? What do you mean? Look look at your tape. Oh. <laughs> coefficient hobbit, you're right. I what does that mean? That's interesting. I don't know. Well, we also have Grand Prix. So I'm assuming aerodynamics and coefficients are not games, but we'll find out. Um Evil Miera, oh hey, did you beat that puzzle game? I did not beat the puzzle game. I got very close, and it was three hours into the stream, and I decided to, to, to kill it for then. So tonight we're doing TRS-80, and then the next stream we'll be back to finishing that game, hopefully, 3-3, three and three, which is still sitting over here. Let's... I, I kind of want, want to see some coefficient hobbits playing <laughs> Grand Prix now. Well, you make it your wish. We'll see. All right, let's see if we put in the, the right tape here. Uh, hold on. Where is it? There's C load. All right, got the tape in. Let's type the magic word C load. Hit play on the cassette player. And there we go. Yeah, Evil Miera, don't worry. We would definitely want to see that five minute animated ending. That's the that's the most important part of that whole thing. I mean, I. <laughs> I suffered through all that stuff. <laughs> I better freaking get to see the ending. And 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 Gamer's Grotto thinks it's going to be like you know, like the ending of Ghostbusters on the NES, where it says Congla "Congratulations, you have proved the justice of our heroes." Well, that was quick. All right, let's hit run. This is just the cover up. That's why. Congratulations. Congratulations, Stu. You made it through with all your hair intact. <laughs> right. Or the AVGN says, like, on that one, well, this is interesting. You con congr 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 Congratulations, you've finished a terrible game. <laughs> you know, that's like, now go F yourself. So, entry number 18, August 1979. It's like making a little, like, like tunnel or something. That's sort of cool. Like a random, it's like drilling a random tunnel or something like that. Like he's playing like NetHack or something, or Rogue. I wonder how long it's going to go for. You, I can obviously kill it, but it stops by itself, um, and then it'll give the copyright, whatever. So let me give it like another 10 seconds, see if it finishes. So how's everything been by you, Mr. Gamers Grotto? So far, so good. Until you kick my ass in this game tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll see that baseball game. I did play it for like five minutes to see what it's like. Or right, let's kill this. 
I did play it for like five minutes to see what it was like, and um, it's definitely very interesting. But I have not tried any of these programs on C-Load, so this is this is new to me as well. Right, C-Load, play. And the way this works is you can tell that it's working by these blinking asterisks on the upper right hand of the screen. If there's if it's alternating between one and two, that means it's actually working. If it wasn't working, either it would get like it would just stick and be solid or whatever. Or sometimes it's a C, which means like I think like uh, checksum error or something like that. But uh, this is this is how the TRS eighty used to work back in the day. And I, I'd like to I like to showcase some of this stuff. <laughs> Pirate Gear Boy says. Hopefully this time we get games that are less Action 52-like. By the way, right now it says that I have zero concurrent viewers on YouTube, just FYI. Um, I, I don't know how YouTube algorithm works. If you think like it could figure out that if there's like somebody talking in the chat, it means there's more than zero people watching, but... Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Like, half the time when you're in my live streams, it, it always says there's zero people in it, too. Hey, Jim, how's it going? Jim Leonard is here as well. So, so what I wanted to say was, um, I like to showcase some of this TRS-80 stuff because this is what I grew up with um, in my for, earliest formative you know, PC years, and most of these people have never seen or heard of any of these games. Jim's youngest son turned 22 tonight, and he feels old. Well, happy birthday to your son, Jim. You, you don't just feel old, you also look old. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know they say, it's not how old your age is, it's how old you feel. Hey, Ninja, how's it going? Good to see you. Ninja's his kid, stay, but stop by to say hope you have a good shoot. Thank you so much, Ninja. I really appreciate it. <laughs> You're damn right. All right, let's run this and see what... This was the aerodynamics one, so it's probably not even good. Elementary aerodynamics. Hey, Gamer's Grotto, you want to read this with one of your voice acting voices? Can you see it? Actually, you can see it, right? Yeah. All right, go for it. You, you want me? Okay. <laughs> During the 1920s, few people ever had the opportunity to fly. At that time, flying had, was a real novelty. However, today, many people have flown in a plane. <laughs> 1979. <laughs> what? This is 1979 that this is written, remember? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Airplanes have come a long way since the 1920s. Yet the average man's understanding of aviation has increased comparatively little. One of the first things a pilot must know is how his plane maneuvers in the air. Uh, oh my god, how long is this? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm on strike. <laughs> <laughs> the accepted theory of flight is based on a physical law discovered by Daniel Bernoulli in the 1700s, known aptly as Bernoulli's Theorem. Which can be seen as follows. If in a stream tube the velocity of fluid is decreased at a particular point, the pressure will decrease at that point. For really, the pressure of the tube decreases, the fluid's velocity increases. Same principle is true for air. Thus came the design of the airfoil. I never understand how, how this works, by the way. An airfoil is the surface design of the air must travel further, spelled wrong on one side of it than the other side. Reach the end of the airfoil, the side with less pressure on one side. Oh my god. The force that results from airfoil creating low pressure area is called lift. Lift is a force, yes, I we okay. Okay, let's skip to the end here. The rest of this program is concerned solely with control surfaces and the different types of motion they can induce. Jim says, just what I wanted in my gaming, a history lesson. I was told there would be no math. Oh, gosh. Oh, wait, it's actually a picture. Uh, uh, that's okay. That's, that, that's uh, you know, we got a picture. Ailerons are on the trailing edge of the wings and the outer edges. They control movement on the longitudinal axis known as roll. When one aileron goes up, the other goes down, causing more lift in the wing, which the aileron is down, thus lifting the wing with more lift and lowering the other wing. That's pretty good. And there's elevators, too, which control movement on the lateral axis known as pitch. Okay. I want to see the pictures. It's the same picture, just pointing at different things. And these are the flaps. Okay. And we have a rudder. Test section. Oh, this is actually going to be a test. Rudder is a horizontal stabilizer. Oh, located where? Located where? I don't know. Wrong. Alright, well, I'm not doing this anymore. This is this is done. Wait a second. Pack your boy, you thought who was in their 20s? Gamer's Grotto or Jim Leonard? Because I don't think Jim could be in his 20s if he has a son who's 22. 
And it's, it's his youngest son, too. So I'm speaking of Gamers Grotto. All right, let's let's go. Let's load the next one, which is Grand Prix. That hopes to be a game. Let's put it in. Let's load. Let's play. Gamers Grotto. Okay, yeah. So so. Jim Lair says it just turned fifty. Don't look a day over forty nine. <laughs> You know, like we're all we're all we're all getting old, man. But you know, think about it this way: Who else is going to teach these youngsters about about you know TRS eighties and early DOS games and IBM fifty one fifty hardware and stuff like like who else is going to do that except for us old geezers? You know, so it is what it is. Without that age, when, when it comes to the intelligence and the experience, right? So. And, and pulling out your hair, playing three and three. <laughs> That's true, too. Uh, so, I'm reading the chat here. Oh, actually, I actually forgot the chat. We're ready. Let's, 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 let's see what this is. Grand Prix. Would you like some directions on where to go? Sure. But go F yourself. Okay. Imagine yourself racing the Grand Prix... On the streets of Monaco, of course, spelled wrong, you have this computer in front of you, and you ask somebody for directions? They would pro probably think this is your first race, which it is. How do you know? So instead of telling you the real directions, they pull you over and show you to play this game on the computer. In this game, your car is at the top of the screen, and it looks like this, like a Y. You're going down the streets, and to move right or left, you press either the arrow keys on the right-hand side of the keyboard. When you press an arrow key, you keep going that direction. I think we played this already. You keep going that direction until you press the other arrow key, in which case you go the other direction. Or you press the... Yeah, we, I'm pretty sure we, we had this in a previous issue. It wasn't spelled like this, though. Or you press the... the What is that thing called? Ampersand? That's not an ampersand. What is that thing called? At sign? Does that thing have an actual name? At sign. The at sign key, in which case you'll stop. You can either race by yourself or with other cars. Jim says, I do enjoy playing games on a high quality screen. There are six different widths of the street. One is the widest, six is the thinest. Th thinest? Thinnest? Did I spell thinnest? Your score is in the upper left hand corner of the screen, and the game stops when you need a wall or another car. Press the space bar to begin the race. Would you like other cars on the streets? Was this game made by yes. a drunk driver? <laughs> Maybe it was. Would you like with one, two, three, four? Let's go three. I don't know. Oh, okay. There's another car, but it's like it looks like it's like stopped. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, wait a second. Oh, I have to press add and the add because once I start swerving, I have to press the add sign if I want to stop. Let's try this again. Jim wants to know who's our ghostly voice joining the stream. Do you want to introduce yourself, Mr. Gamers Grotto? You you just okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm the Gamer's Grotto. Well, you can say more than that if you want. You don't have to just say your name or your name or your channel. You could you could like say something else. Is that the, is that the only part of your identity? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, I got, I got a slightly wider thing this time. Let's see if I can I, avoid. I do have to. I, I do have to just clarify that yes, this game definitely looks like oh, it's made by a drunk driver. What the hell? This is like impossible. Hey, Mark W and Rob Bob present. He says zonk. And this one says smush. Do you want to try this? Jeremy, you want to try this or no? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try one more time. I'm good. Let me try one more time here. Uh, <laughs> smush. Okay, maybe, maybe, okay, yes. I want the widest possible thing here. All right, let's go. I'm getting some points. One. I have one point. I have two points. Three points. Oh, no. Oh no. <laughs> Good evening, Stewie. Smush, your score was five. Oh man, this game's terrible. I it's I, I mean like I mean they tried, but like you can't control a game like this with the keyboard with those types of things. Hey David Price. David Price says, Hey Stu, just finished work and got here. It's two fifty PM in Australia right now. Man, I love games in the nineteen seventies. Well you came to the right place then, sir. Thank you for joining. But this game is not. <laughs> this game is not one of the better ones. So all right, I'll play one more time. 
This is the la- no, you, you did not miss the baseball game. The baseball game is going to be last. That's our feature presentation. This is just the, this is just the coming attractions. Uh, we'll try this one more time. And if I can't, I mean, like, if, if I can't get a score more than... Why is that car, like, just sitting on the side of the road, like, smashed up? First of all, like, the fact that you're, like, on the top of the screen like that, why can't they put you in the middle of the screen? Like, this is poorly designed. Like, why would you want to be at the top of the screen? You get no... I mean, like, it's very minimal benefit from being at the top of the screen. Jeez, whoa. No! Whoa! <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop! Ah! I'm still alive. I can't believe it. All right, there we go. I got the, the at sign. I hit the two, actually. It worked. All right, wow. Doing, I'm doing pretty good this time. Could you imagine if this was your driving test in the 1970s? <sighs> I, could, I mean, it's hard to imagine. You know what? I, wish, I really wish I could play some of the... Um, they have some um, electromechanical driving games that, like, they used to have, like, a... A film strip that you, they used to go like in behind it, like in the rear projection screen. Ah, damn! There used to be a, a film strip of the real in the rear projection screen, and you could like see like full motion video of yourself driving down like a road. I would have loved to play that, but I, I've never seen one that actually works. Mark W says this is almost as cool as Spy Hunter, but David Price correctly says, "Wow, what a terrible game!" And Jim says this is another variation of the skier. Yeah, you're right. It's like the skiing thing. The, I've seen DOS games like that. We print new line of the bottom and a car to top and the screen scroll provides the motion. Very old classic basic game. Yeah, good point. All right, well, <gasps> excuse me, that's the end of that. The Pirate Gear Boy, I think there was a few of them. I, I, I think there's more than one. Um, so the driver might be one of them, but I, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of them. All right, we're going to try Coefficient now. Um, excuse me, we probably shouldn't waste our time, but let's do that quickly for the sake of completeness. And then after that, we'll see The Hobbit and see what that is. Mark W hubs the Peter Gunn theme. All right, let's do that. Um, so Jim, I have a special plugin to OBS that's called Discord. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I was see, see, <laughs> see what you started, Mark? Now we gotta listen to this. <laughs> hey, Stars Manny, how's it going? Stars Manny says, yes, scrolling via print at the bottom. So Stars Manny obviously knows what, he, what Stars Manny is talking about. And he says, I made a TRSA game like this in the early 80s for my own amusement. Didn't sell it or anything. You know, I used to, like, program stuff, too, when I, back in the day, but I feel like I never actually made anything good because I would have saved it. I'm sure it was like, well, whatever song I made it was crap. I mostly just like played stuff like this. My dad had Sea Load magazine, and we used to play this stuff off Sea Load. So, if anything looks familiar to me, it's probably because I actually played it before. This does not, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember the Hobbit game, and it's some kind of RPG or something. So we'll see that in a minute. Pirate Game Boy says I really enjoy Spider in the arcade. The NES version is also good. I have the DOS version somewhere, although I'm not sure if I ever played it. All right, let's see what this, oops, let's see what this coefficients thing is. Whew. Program to resolve undetermined coefficients. This program will solve for two, three, f- or four sets of equations on nodes. You must have an equal number of... Oh my god, I forget this. I might be reading it. Alright, the hell with this. Alright, we're not doing that. <laughs> Let's try The Hobbit. <laughs> I, I knew it would be bad, but I didn't think it would be that bad. At least at least in the, in the aerodynamics one, we got some pictures. Jim says this is not a game. Yes, we figured that out, Jim. Thank you very much. Um, Jim says also the PC version of Spider is surprisingly good. It uses hardware address register to scroll the screen, maintains 30 frames per second, full screen. Big inspiration to be prairie wise. Oh, very cool. And Park Gear Boy says the PC version has the composite artifacting too. Very cool. Mark says the Hobbit game rules. Have you played the Oh, you played the Hobbit game, Mark? Does it, there's two. This, there's there's the Hobbit text adventure, stars Manny. I don't think this is this is that, but there's also some kind of Hobbit game, which I think I think this is like an RPG like, but we'll find out shortly. Actually, there's one thing I need to do here because if you notice on the tape it says, so I'll put a sticky note that says, "See September Yellow Sheet, page three. So I gotta get that. What do I do with it? Hold on one second. I'll be right back. So 
so I, ha I have the they put a note in the next issue of Sea Load Magazine that says we get, we get word now we got word but we get word that there's a drastic improvement in last month's Hobbit program if the following additions are made so like two lines to type in so I'll do that and then we'll see what it is Target Gear Boy says Burger Time is one of the most best examples of composite artifact at least in the early 80s I think it looks great Pirate Gear Boy seems like he's very knowledgeable about uh, about this stuff. Oh, Mark's going to pretend to be confused the coefficient for Game of the Hobbit. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> well, 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 we'll see. Look how long it's taking to load, by the way. This Hobbit thing is, is the longest one on the tape, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's already 156 on the counter. It's still going. Pretty sure it's going to get into 200 range. I did have a cool Hobbit game over C64. The Hobbit game you over C64, was that the text adventure? The, that, the text adventure game might actually be licensed. I feel like this is not, like, just like in Dungeons and Dragons, they had originally had a Hobbit class and they made it a halfling. Are these my own c Lone mags that I kept for decades and I buy them recently? Well, I bought them not so recently. I, I, I regret very much that um, my dad used to have like uh, shelves and shelves of TRS-80 cassettes. And when we moved one day, he said to me, what should I do with all this stuff? And I said, just throw it out. And he said, what do you mean, just throw it out? And I said, yeah, I mean, like, we, you know, we, we're never going to use it ever again. It's all, like, basically garbage, isn't it? And so he threw it out. And I, and I, I mean, I feel pretty bad about that. All right, let's add these little lines here. One... I'm a, I'm a bad person. One on error go to 5,000. I remember there was a lot of Hobbit games. Uh, I mean, Sierra did a PS2 Hobbit game, as I recall. Sierra did a Hobbit game? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually have it. <laughs> really? It, yeah, yeah. It's a... Um, uh, it's like a kind of like a platformer mixed with an adventure game. It's pretty cool. Oh, you'll have to show it to me at some point. Yeah, Mark, Mark, the one that you're talking about is the one that I'm talking about, which I, which is by, like, Addison Wesley Publishing in the U.S., but it was made by Melbourne House, an Australian company. Um, well, it's called Melbourne House. You probably can figure that out, right? Now, let's see what this is. Run. Hobbit. Do you want instructions? Hell yeah. In this game, you become a hobbit thief, try to steal the Orb of Zot... For the castle of the evil wizard. Okay. We have to continue. The castle is a nine but yeah, I see the castle is a nine by matrix filled with many things. Among these things, followed by the numer numeric representation on the map, are gems five. And that the number of them there are is at the numeric representation. Warps eleven through ninety nine, spare flares four, demons negative one through negative twelve, and oracle two. And amulets 100 through 700. Okay. Uh, David Price. Yes, it's called Just the Hobbit. And then there was a sequel um, called The Fellowship of the Ring, and then another one called, I think, The Two Towers, and then the last one was called. It's called. The, it's called Crack of Doom instead of uh, Return of the King. Also hidden in the castle are the Rune Staff and the Orb of Zot. The orb is disguised as a warp, and the only way to get... I remember, I remember playing this as a kid very clearly, but I also remember having no clue what to do. Also in the castle are the rune staff and the orb of Zot. The orb is disguised as a warp, and the only way to get to it is to teleport its room directly. If you try to move it to its room, you will go past it in the same direction. To teleport, you must use the rune staff, which is disguised as a demon. Be careful when you teleport, however, because you lose all your amulets and gems. Note, you may also drop some gems each time you move. What the hell? Find the orb as quickly as you can because the wizard will return shortly and only the orb can prevent it from doing terrible things to you. What's it do, like molest you or something? <laughs> it to continue. The legal moves are, oh my god, north, south, east, or west, weight or WT, map or M, flare or F, lamp or L, teleport or T, kill or K, quit or Q. I'm not going to remember this. What reading? All right, for sure one. Okay, I guess thinking. All right, Furfoot. Oh my God, I remember this. 
You're at 6-6. Six, six. You're going to find three gems. You now have three gems. I'm going to say it's 9 by 9 And I remember this. Alright, so... that Let's go east, I guess. You're at 7-6. You find three gems. Now you have six gems. Okay. Let's go east again. And I found four gems. Now I have ten gems. This is great. Let's go east again. Now I have twelve gems. Can I go east from here? Do I wrap around? You do. Okay. Now I have 17 gems. <laughs> um, what are you guys saying here? Dana says, I'm watching from Melbourne right now. The Melbourne house is just on the road. Oh, very cool. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a text adventure with graphics. Okay, so it looks like I 2 6 is a teleporter. So I teleported from 2 6 into 3 3. But I, don't, I didn't see any demons yet. I'm just wandering around. Oh, you just ran into Yigvi. I guess it's a demon. How much of a bribe do you offer him? I don't know, five. I have 22 gems. He takes your bribe. Okay, so I don't want to go to 6-3 anymore. 8-3. Okay, so I must just wander around this map here. Oh, I found Blue Flame. What's Blue Flame? Is it like a horse? What? what what's... What they, <laughs> I feel like they explained what this was, but I don't remember. Oh, here I found... The, so 2-3 is also a teleporter. And I found the spare flares. I mean, I'm sorry, all I've done is go east. Okay, I just teleported 5 7 to 3 1 to 7 2. Uh oh, you just ran to Marduk, but the blue flame protects you, so I guess the blue flame is good. Now I found more gems. Okay. Lots of hobbit tracks in the dust. That means I was I was here already? Is that what that means? I think that's what that means. Yeah, I think it's telling me that I've been here before. I don't remember being here though. At five nine now. What the hell am I doing? I'm a found palantir. Okay. Now I'm at eight five. I found gems. But nine five. Okay, bold hobbit thief now has the rune staff. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, I didn't, like, do anything. Here you find three gems, now you have 20 gems. Here you find, I found pale pearl. Is that, like, a girl? Can I, like, do something with kiss pale pearl? Even a stupid hobbit like you could do better than that. Okay, thanks a lot. I'm, 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 uh, as Marduk. 7 1 is a, is a teleport. Oh, I ran to. So now that. Before it said the red flame, the red whatever protects me, now the pale pearl is protecting me. So I just gotta find the. the I, I should have paid attention to where I was going, but I didn't. <sighs> I found Opal Eye. More gems. She is damn Marduk. Hobbit tracks in the dust obviously means I've been there already. I found the Norn Stone. You're in the presence of the Oracle. The Opal Eye compels it to answer a question. What would you know? the location of. Example, find the opali type 400. I wonder the location of the of the what the hell was that thing called? <laughs> what was I looking for? The Wand of Zot or something? What is, what's, what's, what's the number for the Wand of Zot? Does anybody remember? <laughs> what the hell? How much to know what to do? Let's type 500. I don't know. Even the Oracle does not know where that is. Five. I would say five was a gem or something. What's the... All right, screw the Oracle. They keep going. 
We just ran to Gollum, but the Nord Stone protects me. So I guess everything here is something protecting me. Ah, oh, damn it. I hate these stupid goddamn warps. They're really annoying. I found Ruby Red. Hopefully I'll find... Ugh, uh, uh, these teleports. I don't know what to do. Where, where the hell am I supposed to go? Look at, look at this. Boy. I feel like I need to, like, do something special to get to the what I'm trying to get, right? I'm going to lose. I'm gonna, the things that get me. What are you guys saying here? Um, David Price says, you need a lot of imagination to enjoy these text adventure games. This is not really a text adventure. This is, like, some kind of weird, like, RPG type thing. Being a child in the 90s, my attention span is too short. My imagination is too poor to be able to get into this game. I think I'm almost with you. But the Pirate Gear Boy 12 says, this does seem to be better than the previous season. I mean, this game is definitely more involved. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oops. Oh, I forgot this. This could do the map. I'm at 3-5, and I have all these amulets. Wait a second. I have the Rune Staff. I have not tried flare or lamp. We can try them. Which direction do you shine the lamp? The magic lamp shines and you see an empty room. Huh. Oops. At 4-5 you see a warp. Where am I at? So the negative 4, negative 2, negative 3 of those demons. I'm at three five. I'm at three five. Three five. Okay, to the right. Wait a second. Three five means column three, and to the right is the seventy three. That's the warp. But it says the the. Did it say the, the org stone whatever is disguised as a warp? What does the ones be? The ones be rooms I haven't been into probably. Let's try that. North, west. You just ran into Schlock, but the ruby red protects you. Hey, Dorian Kane. No, we, we didn't get to the baseball game yet. I'm trying this, this other game first. Uh, I'm at 7-4? How did I get to 7-4? So is that schlock? Oh, I guess I must have teleported. I teleported, I didn't even realize it. Seven. Seven. Column seven? Column four? So down is a warp. Oh, let's see this here. North. East. East. South. Okay, I found one gem. So the, the ones are, 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 are the ones are places I haven't been, I guess. Like the two, what's that two? South. At nine five. Nine six. Oh, that's the oracle. The two is the oracle. Okay. What about three? The two is the stupid oracle. The negative numbers are all demons. I wish I paid attention to see what uh, what the other numbers were. I'm at the two right now. Right, let's go east. East. South. South. East. East. Oh, I found the silver rill. That's nice. I right, got lots of gems. So what I guess one is, is something I haven't I haven't explored. Alright, so let's go 
I mean, 8 comma 9. Let's go east, east, east. And then we'll go north. Go south. South again. Alright, so I got more gems. Like, I've literally been almost everywhere. North. West. 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 The only place I haven't been is those two ones at the top, I think. I don't know how to get there, but... It's like, it's like impossible to get there. If I go like all freaking circle. Uh, let's see. Because the duck got stupid warps. East. One, two, three, east, then south. Then east, then south. The east. The goal is to find the wine of Zot. Yeah, Mark, I just found one of the silver rolls lying around. That's exactly what just happened. Um, and then, okay, east again. North, north. Well, that was a teleport. All right, so I've been everywhere. It says the thing I'm supposed to find is disguised as a teleport. So how am I supposed to actually? Where's three comma seven? Three comma seven over there? I guess so. So let's use the lamp south. You see a warp. So I have to walk into all these warps to, to know. Ah, oh, come on. The wizard returned. What a delicious looking toad you make. And you get fed to schlock. You have 33 gems in these amulets. And you killed. I didn't even try to kill anybody. All right, well, I mean, I think this is probably what happened when I played the game when I was a kid also, because I don't understand what the hell you're supposed to do. Neil before Sot. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I mean, I guess I was supposed to do something, but I'm, I'm not going to play again, but I'll read the instructions again. Some hobbits never learn. So two is an oracle. Warps eleven three ninety nine. The orb is disguised as a warp. The only way to get to it is to teleport into its room directly. If you try to move into its room, you'll go past it in the same direction. The teleporter, you must use the rune staff, which is disguised as a demon. But how do you use the rune staff? Oh T. Teleporter T. Oh, that's what I was doing wrong. So I had to, like, I had to use the... Once I got the rune staff, I was supposed to use it, and I didn't do that. Sh should I try one more time, or should I give up and go play baseball? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Mark W. probably wants me to play one more time, because this is, like, his type of game, almost. Come on, guys. What do you think? Gamers Ross is trying once more. Everyone else passed out. <laughs> Pilot Gear Boy says, I think it's baseball time. Dorian says, good with either. We had we a tiebreaker vote. No preference. <laughs> we had a tiebreaker vote. I'll try. I'll try one more time. Just, just see. see if I, now that I actually understand the rules. So I guess even at the very beginning, you can see like oh, okay. So it makes sense. You can't see anything until you actually hit it. This is the map at the beginning. Oh, now Marks is throwing softball. All right. Well, it's too late now. This is where I was. Oh, now I have the rune staff. All right, good. So that's the that's probably the most important thing. I found pale pearl. This is a warp that takes you right back where you were. I found palantir. 
Probably the, the difficulty level gives me like a lot of time before the wizard gets back because I was really futzing around. I just ran to Mario. Can I kill him? Which amulet do you attack with? I don't know which one it is. I don't think I have the opal eye. The pale perk attacks of Marduk is staggered but not dead. Can I kill it again? And he dies now. Here's his horde of. It's, like, it's good, I guess, right, that 300 was the pale pearl. And uh, Marduk dies. Marduk is like a god, like an Akkadian god or something, isn't he? Or the presence of the oracle. Will you. Sp oh. So last time I had some, some object that made the oracle. I, I don't want to spend. No, I don't want to spend gems. Back at 1 1. 5 2. So when you teleport, you lose all your gems, but, like, who cares, anyway? <sighs> Lots of hobbit tracks in the dust. Gotta just explore the area. Alright, let's look at the map. Smack him in the amulet. <laughs> or Sumerian. There's a lot. So there's a lot of warps already. So like, I can I can start teleporting if I want to. Let's let's see. Let's try that. Uh, let's teleport to three comma three comma. Actually, let's, where are we? Four comma six. So I'm right here. All right, let's go. Let's go west. I found ruby red. Well, that was a teleporter also. Where am I now? Five eight. It's here. Let's let's try to let's try to teleport. First of all, let's see the lamp. West. It's a warp. All right. Let's teleport to the warp. Four, eight. So that was not it because that one was actually a. Uh, that was that was a real warp apparently. So I've I've been trying to teleport to all these warps like randomly. Here, let's try it. Oh shit, I lost everything. I lost all the good amulets. The gems I realized, but I, I realized I lost all the good amulets too. Wait, one comma three? That I meant three comma one. That wasn't it. Let's try uh, eight comma two. Nope. Let's try six comma th three nope let's try two comma four let's try two comma five nope <laughs> let's try three comma five wow all these are no good Let's try uh, eight comma six. Let's try three comma seven. Let's try one comma nine. There's just a bunch of guessing here. And I, I killed one of those demons, but the rest of them are still freaking around. Four comma eight or six comma eight. I guess I should have explored everything first. And there's also seven comma nine. Damn. We're just gonna come feed me to Shrek soon. Yeah, you're probably right. None, so none of them were damn. I mean, four comma six. Four comma six is, is like why is there a zero there? Then? Oh, okay, zero means I've explored it. I gotta find some more teleporters. Six comma seven. Let's go up. Oh 
comma six comma six. Oh, wait a second. Lots of Hobbit tracks. I'm confused. Okay, I found blue flame. I found the spear flares. Nine comma five was a teleport. Okay, let's try that one. I lost all my stuff. Oh, that's that's what flares do. What's five? What does that mean, five? What is that? Hold on a second. What does that mean? What does this stuff mean? What's five? I don't know. A bunch of guessing is a little bit of play a lot of these old tax games as Dorian Karen. Starting base is the eight tiers using where a gig will Hammurabi. I actually did a video on it. It's Stu's Reviews number three. <laughs> but I actually was doing videos. I was supposed to just streaming all the time. So go search for that when you get a chance. Stu's Reviews Hammurabi. Uh, when there's a place you need to go, I'm the one you need to know. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Let's try five comma four. Damn you. Where the hell is this thing? Seven comma six. Six comma four. Yes! Lucky Hobbit now is the mighty orb of Zod. Now what do I do? Now I just like uh wait until he shows up. Well, I've actually beat this game. How do I escape? <laughs> Six comma i I'm supposed to be raiding the guy's thing, right? Six comma four. Let's go east, east. That was a teleporter also. One comma six. Uh, okay, let's go up. I found the opal eye too. Use the rune staff. Use the rune staff. How? Your rune staff makes me teleport. Now play baseball with the orb. This is not like the baseball diamond from the Great Muppet Caper. It's the orb of Zot. The fabulous orb of Zot. I ran to Gollum at the Opalite. Can I kill this bastard? 400. Opalite attacks and Gollum dies. Here's Horde of 20 gems. Hey, what am I, how do I win? Help? You and a stupid hobbit like you can do better than that. Uh, I, should, I didn't look at the map even. Five comma two. All right, so let's try it down. That's a warp. I know I killed Gob just like that. Well, he's Gob's a whip. Gob's a like, like, my precious, my precious. He's a loser. You know, he's easy to kick that guy's ass. I just ran to Yigvi. Let's see if I can kill him too. He's dead too. We only had two gems. I have 27 gems, but how do I get out of here? 2 comma 9. Let's go east. Found the Norn Stone. That's like from Thor, isn't it? Just killed Swedish guitar sharing Yingui Ballsteed? <laughs> if you say so. Uh, south. That was a teleporter. Three. I'm gonna, if I lose this game after getting the Dorn Stone or whatever, that, that's real BS. And that would really suck, honestly. And that was a teleporter, too. Oh, no. The wizard's return, but the Orb of Zop protects you for now. Can I kill him? You can find a demon to kill it. 
So the Order of Zod protects me. What else to do? What does that mean for now? Like for now until like he figures out like another spell to kill me? What am I supposed to do? How do I get out of here? I'm at one comma three. You just ran to Schlock, but the Nordstone protects you. Some hobbits know when to quit. You didn't. What a delicious toad you make, and you get fed to Schlock. Was I supposed to type quit? Was that what I was supposed to do? Type quit? What the hell? What the hell? Maybe dumb hobbit not so dumb after all? That's long code. But I, I, I don't get it. Like, was I supposed to quit the game? Is that what I was supposed to do? I don't know. I had enough of this. This, I, I, sh I should have won. I got the stupid orb of Zot. Why did I win? All right, the hell with this. All right, Gamers Ground, are you still there? Yes. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to find an exit? Maybe. That's what I was trying to do. But, like, why did it say then that I wasn't I, didn't, I wasn't smart enough to know when to quit? I don't know. And now for our feature presentation. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I don't know. All right. So now we have finally... That was actually... Okay. I'm complaining, but that was definitely the most... Um, detailed game we got in a CeeLo magazine, I think, probably ever. I'm going to re reboot this TRS-80, though. Let's put in the baseball game. And while waiting for it to load, I can talk some more. Open. Let's load. It might be less, um, less sophisticated, the Hobbit game, then, though. So, altogether, we got this thing here. We got the cover, obviously, we got two non-games, aerodynamics and coefficients. Grand Prix was pretty rotten, but Hobbit was actually decent. It's just that the instructions were really bad. If, if it actually was like a... I could see that being a commercial game if it actually came with some decent instructions. That's really my only issue with it, is the instructions were so poor that I had no idea what the hell I was doing. And, then, you know... Actually, that's not my only issue with it. it, it it's stupid if a teleport into every single teleporter in order to, to hope that one of them is the Orb of Zot. But, yeah. Star Wars Mania says, okay, this, is, this baseball game is basic. It's it's very basic indeed, and also written in basic. This is, we have Batter Up again by Batter Up, a micro baseball game, copyright 1979 by the Hated Book Company. So hopefully book companies know something about baseball and about writing software. We're about to see in a minute if that's actually accurate or not. Probably not. And it's... I, need, I have my, my buddy, the Gamers Grotto, on to help me play this because I could play it myself, but it's definitely a better game with two players. And uh, it sort of, like, requires it almost. It's a very basic game, you'll see. Let's be honest. The only reason I'm here is so you can kick my ass and gloat about it. Nah, it's, <laughs> if, 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 I think this is going to be like more random chance than <laughs> anything else. I'll tell you what I figured out about the game once it starts. All right, so you see, it was, this is getting shorter than the Hobbit game. 156. The Hobbit game went to like 220. Okay, batter up, micro baseball game. When requested to enter the team names, wait till the batter and pitcher are displayed. Press P for the pitch and Q or A to swing the bat. That's all the instructions you get. By Carl Savone, copyright 87, I hate a book company. All right. What is my team's name? We'll call them the Stews. And what's the home team's name? Gamers Grotto, what's your team's name? Uh, am I typing this or are you... Well, I was about to ask you. See if you can type it. There you go. Okay, cool. Hold on. <laughs> Let's 
G Grotto. Okay. So it looks like Stu's up first, I think. So let me explain to you how this works. As far as I can tell, this is how it works. When you press P, you will pitch the ball. And even though, like I read on the internet, like in a review, that there's supposedly some way you can control the pitch, I don't think there is. I think it just throws a random pitch. And then I have two letters, Q and A, to swing. Q is a high swing, and A is a low swing. If I, if, I, if the ball's going to be a ball, I can let it go. If I actually swing and, make, and connect with it, if I, if I look like I'm going to hit it, then maybe I'll actually really hit it. Maybe I won't. <laughs> You'll see in a second, because I don't know how this how you actually play this game. So whenever you're ready, you go ahead and hit P and throw the pitch. See, that was high, so it was a ball, so I didn't swing. That time, I hit, I swung with probably too early. I, I was actually, I was level with the ball, but I, it, was, it was a strike. That, that time, it looked like I wasn't going to hit it, so that makes sense. See, that time, I don't know why I didn't make contact with it, but apparently I didn't. There was a ball. So you have to have some discipline not to swing at every pitch. And also you have to decide if you're going to swing up or down. Okay, that's just possible single. Possible. And now, there's fielding here. But I don't think you can control the fielding. Did you do it? See, <laughs> I just caught it. Out. So it's a possible single, but it's freaking it's out. What are you guys saying? Let's see if this is on par with television and baseball around the same time. Okay, definitely not. It's probably still better than the baseball game on the Zone 40. What's the Zone 40? See, that's that's crap. I hit the ball, but like, all right, it was, I guess it was out. Um, I like in television baseball marks, but yeah, this isn't it. Watch out for the ampersand. My dad experience tells me those are demons. All right, go throw, throw your pitch. I'm ready. Possible single. I've yet to see an actual hit in this game. I've never seen anybody get on base. Look at that. Buildings in the background. Oh, look at that. He's not paying attention. It's a hit, hit, hit. Is it a single? I guess it's a possible single. So, oh, 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 there he goes. Yay. I got a base. <laughs> All right, you, your turn. Just gonna throw that pitch. You got one out, so you can strand that guy on base. It's a ball. This, this is just as exciting as a regular game of baseball, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it is because regular game of baseball is not very exciting either. That's my point. I I really love how the ball just like you know it's it being thrown properly and then it just disappears and reappears. I, I think those ampers are supposed to be this people in the stands I guess. Oh, oh he missed it again! Look, I feel like he turns his head around and like huh? Where'd it go? But why, why is it only possible single? How do we get like a possible double? Or possible triple? A possible home run? So like I mean I already know they're not going to run more than one base because it's a possible single. <laughs> the Pirate Game Boy says, this baseball game is probably the worst sports game I've ever played. <laughs> the Zone 40 is a bad Wii knockoff. I've never heard of it. Go. I, I, I kind of have to agree. Um, don't don't I, wait. I, Go I, ahead. I, pitch. Pitch. Pitch while you talk. I was kind of hoping that uh, one of the balls would just hit the pitcher in the face, and then you just see him fall over. We will actually get, 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 get like a... Uh, well, come on. Look, let's see what happens here. Look at those guys. Look at those guys in the stands. Look how excited they are. Oh, you missed it again! Wow, I'm actually get a run scored. I still need, I need one more hit or a walk or something. Look at those guys running. Oh, that baseball game is the worst game. I think about this one. This is well. There's not a lot of controls in this one. <laughs> the gamers grind a little. He's just pressing P, and that's it. Yeah, pretty much. It's um, it's pretty basic. <laughs> All right, come on. Maybe I'm going to score one. This is so exciting. Oh, no. Oh, ah! Yes! Yay! Woo! -hoo! 
Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. We actually got a run scored. It's amazing. And we still have bases loaded, too. Come on, let's see what you can do here. Throw your pitches at me. Go for it. Why is everything? See, why is it? I don't. Maybe you'll, when you'll when you'll be a bat, you'll figure out how to make it see possible something else, not just possible single. I, I don't understand this at all. Are you able to feel this? Are you, oh, you caught that one. You're not. You're not able to do anything to control that guy. I don't think. No, I've I've tried. You can't control him at all. <laughs> the New Jersey stews are up on the board first. Let's hit a grand slam. Come on, come on. We got uh, Stu himself up at bat. Whoa. That was a real sinker there. When I first was playing the game, I was swinging at everything. I couldn't figure out, like, what to do. Then I figured out there's actual balls and strikes. Oh, possible double! Come on, don't catch it! No, ah, man, look at that. You ruined my possible double. <laughs> Star Wars, I think this is pretty good. Well, it definitely wouldn't be good without, without a second player. All right, so now we stranded three men on base. That's terrible. And now you're up at bat. You ready? Q and A are the two keys. Q is for the high swing and A is for the low swing. You ready, Mr. Gamers Grotto? Yep. Here we go. We're going to press the pitch. Here we go. Doop. <laughs> yeah, a little too early there. Plus, you, plus you're swinging the wrong swing. That, that should be the high swing. Here we go again. <laughs> well, you, you, it takes some time to get used to it. I played like for like two minutes before before the stream. Plunkum Gamers Grotto. I think they're rooting for you, man. Definitely some spin on that ball. You're no kidding. Oh, no, don't swing at that one. That was definitely a ball. What out. So you gotta, you gotta get used to don't swing too soon. You're swinging too soon, first of all. You gotta wait until it's actually coming closer to you because you'll know if it's a ball or a strike. You ready? So basically wait until the ball hits me in the face and then swing. Wait until the ball is like on top of where it says ball, I think. Ready? The ball seems to fall downward very quickly. It weighs 20 pounds in stars, Manny. Here we go. <laughs> you didn't sw you swung too early again. I told you, wait till it gets like the top of the word ball. Here we go. I, I kind of fumbled on that one. <laughs> Yay! That's good job. You didn't swing that time. Good job. That was like a straight one. See on the top, <laughs> using a medicine ball. Oh man, what was it? That late swing. <laughs> that was clearly a ball. You didn't have to swing at that one. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, don't swing. I, next time I'm gonna tell you not to swing. Don't swing at those. All right, two outs. Here we go again. Swig! Oh, I see that time it was actually a strike. <sighs> you want to take a practice swing? I don't think we can out of this game. You ready? Yeah. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, come on, I'm telling you not to swing. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Eventually you'll figure this out. I'm a pro ball player here. Good! Oh my goodness, possible triple! Come on, catch this! I think the later you swing, the better the better it is. Oh, it's not catching it. Oh wow, you got a triple. You see that? You like stuck up the place for like two and a half batters, and then also you hit a triple. Look at that. This guy like taking his time, trotting around the bases. I don't know what's with his, like, he really, like, like jogged to second base, and, like, from first to third, he's, like, sort of trotting. All right, you got a guy on third. You can bring this guy home, theoretically. If he had a single, I, I assume he makes it home. Here goes the pitch. 
Ooh. Possible signal. There you, so you got the hang of it. Or right, catch it, you schmo. Catch it. Catch it. Don't catch it. Don't catch, catch it. it. No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I had like three guys on base that got stranded. <sighs> Here, you guys coming home. <sighs> Triple. Man. All right. Here we go. I think I think this has become an even game here. Strike one. Just a bit outside. Uh, that's how he didn't swing. Ball one. One and one count. <laughs> Ball two. So we got throw throw a strike pitcher. Oh, you, you swung, but you swung to, you swung low you, instead of swinging high. That's why you missed it. Yeah, I know. And that's how you swung at a ball. All right, so you're out. Three, three outs, but that you but you got a man in, so that was pretty good. All right, now my turn. Wow, all right. Let's see what I can do here. I'm waiting for the pitch. This isn't actually that bad. I think I'm swinging too early. That's why I'm getting possible single, and you got possible triple. Because the thing is, if it, if he misses, you want it to be a triple, not a single. Obviously, I mean, he didn't, he didn't miss either. <sighs> Damn! Come on, I'm gonna get a home run. Throw that ball. Ball one. Count is one and zero on Stu. Possible double. Okay, so I think my theory is correct. So you, it's like a, it's like a, it's a risk and reward. If you hold it longer, you have a chance to get a home run, but you also might miss it completely. And of course, like this guy catches it, so it doesn't make a difference. How come? How come? This, how come your fielders are so much better than my fielders? An alien Pac-Man playing baseball against a triangle. Yes, that's <laughs> what we're doing. Go ahead. Pitch the ball. Ball one. My ERA is 4.5, and so is yours. Well, that really sunk quite a bit there. Ball two. Ooh, strike. I, I tried to swing, but I swung too late. I was going for like a you know like a home run swing. That was too early. Possible single. Possible single means either I am gonna get caught or it won't matter anyway. It's gonna be like one guy on base. All right, see so yeah, that should have, if that was like a possible home run and you and you missed it. That would actually have been something, but. Dean Price says, what am I even looking at? Alien Pac- oh, you, you read that already. I didn't see that before. I thought that was your joke. Yeah, it's an Alien Pac-Man playing baseball against a try. It's like when uh, on EVGN, when he was when he was talking about that, that uh, baseball game, and he said it's like the restroom side got together to, to, to play baseball. That's basically what this is. Possible double. Do ground balls exist in this universe? I mean, I don't know what he's if he's catching it like, or if it's just like, um, if it if it means that like he's just not fielding it cleanly. I, I don't know what's going on here. If he's rolling line drives to the outfield, it's not clear to me. But either way, I'm glad that I he missed how, it. I love how when he misses it, misses catching it, he just kind of looks off to the side like, <laughs> did I catch it? <laughs> I feel like he's turning around. He's going like, like, oh, where'd it go? That's what that's what it seems like to me. All right, come on. Oh, I, again, I swung. Too, I tried to swing like a late swing, but it was too late. That's too early. I'm sure. All right, I, I, if I can if I can actually drive a run in, I'll be happy. Not happening, is it? Yeah, good. All right, cool. I actually got run scores. 
Maybe we should make this an abridged game, like a three inning game. What do you say? I'm not playing a full nine innings of this. Do you want to make this a three inning game, Gamers Grotto? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Whatever you want to do. I think let's make DM prices. It looks fun to play with a friend. Yeah, it is. But I mean, I but it, it's but it's like it gets tedious. Go 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 for it. Pitch. Possible double. I wonder how the, I, I'm trying to figure out how this algorithm works. Mark says I gotta run. Thanks, Sue's Gamers and the Gamers Grad. Good night. Good night, Mark. Thanks very much for joining. Appreciate Have a great it. Day, Mark. Ah, good. I got that. Let's play a three inning game because that's that'll give us enough. This uh, this is the second inning, so there's still some time to, to you know to come back from this 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 victory that I have going right now. It's only two to one, two two three to one right now. Let's see if I can get get something else here. It's two outs. This is a two out to rally going on. Get double. I can't figure out how to do more than double. You got a triple that last time. Double would score two runs. I hope this guy misses it. No. Oh yes. Oh, all right. <laughs> Yay! <sighs> The crowd is going wild. As Stu's Reviews team is going into the lead once again. Yay! Get your hot dogs. Get your peanuts. Get your Cracker Jacks. Get your hot dogs here. Get your ice cold beer. The worst damn pitcher in existence. <laughs> His ERA is 22.5. <laughs> yeah, that's second. It's your ice cold beer here. Yes! Woo! Home run! Yes! <laughs> Look at that! He flew right over his head. We are the champions, my friend. <laughs> The price. Hey, bada 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 bada. But I think that was before the home run. <laughs> the batter took that took that pitch, and he sent it into the stratosphere. Yeah, come on, trot around the bases. Woohoo! I just gotta say, I'm totally not amused. It's time for the that singing the national anthem. Oh, Canada. Our home and native land. Go for it. <laughs> Possible triple. True patriot love in all thy sons command with glow. Oh no. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> yeah, right! <laughs> you know what? I, I never understood why. When I, when I used to go to like Blue Jays games. They never did, like, take me out to the ball game. They always played some stupid song that was like, Okay, Blue Jays, let's play ball. Like, what do they have against to take me out to the ball game? I, I never understood that. It's like a classic song. I could understand they're not wanting to sing the American National Anthem they want to play the Canadian one, but, like, I never got that. Anyway, the score is now 7-1, to one, and the same pitcher is still here. He's pitching a ball. The batters are just getting better. I think they have this game figured out. I'm just amazed you know the Canadian national anthem better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we hit home runs for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Hey! Time to get Very some good. Labatt Blue. Good. Now, now sing it in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sing it in reverse. Dan Price says, holy moly, you're kicking ass, Stu. What is it, seven runs to one? Actually, it's nine runs to one. 
Stars may I was always amazed to sell beer to the crowd at American sports. The ending of the draw. Yeah, it's funny actually. I I've seen people get like out of control in in, a, in a, like in, in football games, especially actually in baseball games too. One time I was in a base a Mets a New York Mets game, and this guy got really drunk and they threw him out. Possible triple. This guy got drunk and they threw him out, and um, then somehow he snuck back in. And he brought in, like, an inflatable doll with him. And then he was, like, like doing all sorts of things to the inflatable doll at the game. And everyone was, like, cheering him on and going, like, Hey, get yeah, Richie! Go, Richie! And they're, like, really happy about that. And I remember I was, like, 10 years old. And, like, somehow this inflatable doll ended up in my lap. And, threw, and we threw it, like, into the crowd. Jim wants to know if I'm having an aneurysm. Jim, I don't think so. Yes, I, I was about to say, well, is there a difference between having an aneurysm and singing the Canadian National Anthem? I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. <laughs> uh, maybe not. You, are you ready for your turn? Oh, wait, what happened? It went by itself. I didn't press. You, you threw the ball. You're, you're the batter, genius. Don't throw the ball if you're the batter. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize. Okay, I didn't realize it was uh, Are you ready now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. I was like, "How did who threw the ball? I didn't throw the ball." Ah <laughs> oh, man, you're not used to this yet. David says, "I'm pretty sure the pubs do great business before and after the games." Yeah, I'm sure they do. Here comes the next pitch. Oh, a little bit too early, I think. Strike three. That would be slightly too early. One out. Here's the next pitch. Oh, nice. Possible double. Come on, catch it, you fool. Just catch it. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> you should Google 10 Cent Beer Night in Cleveland 1974. It, what, what, there was a football game where, like, the referees, like, like, um, called something wrong and, the, and, the, and some, I, I think it was in Cleveland but I'm not sure now and they lost the game and then like the, the, the fans were all throwing beer bottles onto the refs from the stands and like some guy got injured apparently oh man look at that right to his glove <laughs> you got bad luck there Gamers Grotto alright well we're now we're at the top of the third this will be the last the last uh, the last inning in this uh, in this game that soon to be rained out we're going to play one more inning, and we're going to see um, if I can beat Gamers Grotto even more badly. So I'm ready for the pitch whenever you're ready to deliver it, sir. Possible double. Come on, drop the ball. I'll pay you 50 bucks if you drop the ball. Fielder. Ah. <laughs> I love how he turns around. He's like, huh? "Where'd it go?" Huh? Anyway, I mean, so far, I guess my impression of this game overall is it's pretty bad. Like, it's not a, in terms of like, if you want to play like a, a baseball game, there's obviously today much better baseball games to play. But I'm still having fun with it because um, I'm kicking gamers' grottos behind, like you thought I would. But that's not really why. It's just because it's 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 fun. If there's some there's a fun mechanic here in swinging the bat. I'm enjoying it, um, but I, I still would. I'm not enjoying it enough that I want to play a full nine inning game. But that's going to take like hours, and it's not worth it. Ball two. Come on, pitch me two more balls. Home run! See, I got the timing pretty good. <laughs> I like when it's a home run; it just like shoots over his head too. It's gone. It's out of here. This gamer's grotty. Anything to say for yourself? The pitcher's like, was that a bird or a <laughs> ball? <laughs> oh, apparently my concurrent viewers have dropped to zero again. So either everybody on the stream just gave up or Google again is completely lying about uh, who's actually here. I, I suspect the latter. I think you mean YouTube, not Google. Oh, yeah. Well, don't, doesn't Google own YouTube? Well, I, I, I think so. Yeah. yeah, so it's basically it's, it's basically Google. It's, uh, yeah. All right, there's still, there's no outs. 
So am I? I'm. Uh, You're still I'm pitching. Now, right? You're oh, still pitching. Okay. You gotta get me out first. Possible double. It would have been class as a good game in 1979 to start. I, I agree. You know, in the beginning when I first saw, in the beginning when I first saw like the just the, just the top part, I was like, eh. But there's there's enough here, like in terms of the presentation, that makes it that makes it fun. Although, like, it would be better if you actually could control the outfielder. Honestly, like, I guess he couldn't figure out how to make that work. And it would be better if you could control the pitching too, and not just be random. Those two things they could have done, and it wouldn't have been so complicated. But it's still fun as it is. Just only the batter is fun, really. That's why I could have theoretically played this by myself, because the second player just goes like this. And what you're waiting for you to the, do. <laughs> the uh, live chat is never that accurate, Stars Manny. It, it kind of goes in and out and gives different numbers all Oh, yours says three people watching? Oh, cool. All right. Let's well, better than zero. Oh, that was a bad swing. Possible single. Mine says one. Well, I mean, obviously it's not one. It has to be at least two. <sighs> wow, your fielders are really adept. <laughs> I should have been. I should, I should, I should, that should have been better, like a triple or a double. But I'll take the single. Man, yeah, first and third. Eleven to one. No outs, and we have. Mark McGuire on the plate for the Stews. Here comes the pitch. Hold ball one. McGuire's batting 700 this season. Possible triple for McGuire. It's basically how it knows possible triple before he... Like, why does it tell you that? Why does it just, like, like let's see what happens? I guess they want to give you some feedback. Stars is like, yeah, it would have been classed as a good game in 1979. Now I just picture a bunch of stoners just sitting around <laughs> playing this. Wow, man, you should see this game, my God, man. Well, this is gonna be the last inning, but but um, I'm curious what you what you think, Gamers Grotto, and also folks in the chat, in terms of which is better, this game, which cost like I said seven or eight dollars, or this tape, which was part of a subscription that was three dollars that had Hobbit on it and Grand Prix. Which is better? Which is better is the question. Well, Grand Prix to me was just uh, uh, an adventure in drunk driving, <laughs> which <laughs> that we don't really need to play that. Um, it's and, true. Uh, just go out and do Hobbit, it. The Hobbit, the Hobbit was good, and uh, this is pretty good. So which is better, this or the Hobbit? I'd say, uh, I'd say this. Interesting. Okay. What do you folks in the chat think? Which is better, this or the Hobbit? Stars Bay says this also, so he agrees with you. And Pirate Gear Boy also says this is better. Because this is graphics, and then what did it? That's probably why. But your fielders are inept. What's the deal? Like, my guys caught the ball. I, I think they I think they have money bet on the game, Gear Boy's Grotto. I feel like that's going as on I, here. As I said earlier, my, my pitcher is stoned. <laughs> but it's not your pitcher, it's your outfielders. Look, they're just standing there. Well, There's. They're all stoned. <laughs> they must be stoned. It's 1979. <laughs> it's 14 to 1. This is going to be like, the game's going to be called, on, you know, not to embarrass their team in a minute. <laughs> still still no outs. Where's that pitch? I want to see a balk. Ooh, low pitch. Ball 2. <sighs> Possible triple. It'll be. I mean, he should catch this one. It would have to be some some fairness here. <laughs> but, but he's not catching it. That guy should be fired. It's the same schmuck who can't catch any of the balls. I mean, the good thing is like there was only one guy on base. So look how they like they, they go so much slower up and down. They do left and right. Is that weird? All right, so it's a pause to update the scoreboard. This game needs to be called Adventures in Ball Catching. <laughs> Adventures in Ball Playing or something. Adventures in Playing with One's Balls. 
No, that's that's a totally different <laughs> game, Stu. That's that's an Al Lowe game. Possible double. Stars Man says, I think it was any computer game back then when people wanted to play it. Everything was yeah, you're probably right. By the way, um I forgot I haven't said this yet on the stream, so this guy can't catch again. If you like this this sort of thing and you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the freaking channel and hit like on this video for for the for the love of Pete. Hit like on the video and more importantly, subscribe and hit the notification button. All that good stuff. You, you should learn from the Pirate Gear Boy 12, who's always here before the stream even starts. Somehow, that's how dedicated he is to, to, to joining the stream, and I appreciate it. So, he is the ultimate super fan right at the moment. Um, makes me want to start a Patreon. I'm just kidding. Go throw the throw the ball. I'm waiting. Our learn from the pirate gamer boy. He be stirs. <laughs> he says, I just seen in my subscriptions. Yeah, I, I guess, but you're the only person that sees in your subscriptions and is like, oh, let's join. Everyone else is like, ah, I'm going to go, like, you know, read a book first and then I'll come on later. Come on, pitch. Ball two. Is there going to get to ball four because I'm like, I'm, I'm swinging. Possible triple. Is he going to catch it this time? I wonder if he has less chance of catching if it's like a triple or a double he's, versus he's, a single. He's, he's not going to catch it. Yeah, no, there. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Why is he not catching it ever? This inning is going to go on forever. <laughs> it's already it's already 17 to 1. 17 to 1. What's like the highest scoring Major League Baseball game ever? I've never seen a game like this bad. Well, what's the, what, out of curiosity, what's the button to shoot my pitcher? <laughs> I think it's P. <laughs> That's the only button you have, is P. <laughs> Ball. Come on, get me out. It's no outs. Can you control the catcher's hands? We don't think so, Stars Manny. Strike. Well, yeah, we got to strike. I mean, because I, I tried. I just, trust me, I've I've tried. Uh, no, my pitcher is just uh, yeah, <laughs> something else. He's, he's just not paying attention to the game. Possible triple. Okay, can you catch this fool? Come on, catch the damn ball! Yay! He caught it! Woohoo! Good job! Yay! Finally! <laughs> One out. That was the pitcher. That was my pitcher who was up. Who almost hit a triple. Now we're up to the top of the order. Possible double. There's a guy at third. I see a single to knock him in. If that guy doesn't score, like it's a disgrace. He's just steal home. Man, you guys suck. If, if it showed like if it was like showed like a base hit like into like you know the far corner of the field and they can't run over there in time, that's one thing. But it looks like it's going right to the guy and he just can't uh, he can't be bothered to field it. Wow. All right, eighteen to one. I I really just want to get through this inning. We can end it here, but like I want to I want to give you a chance to come back. I think I've I think I've mastered this title. That's what I feel like at this point. Yeah, I think even if I came back, I have no chance of, <laughs> of avoiding. Speed, stars made it is actually not bad for basic speed wise. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's okay. I yeah, I think I've I think I've definitely mastered this title. I wonder I would I wonder if I can create like an overflow condition where like I get like a hundred runs or something in the inning, and then like it breaks the game. That might happen. Already got ten runs. Gamers Ground is being a very good sport with this. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out on purpose now. I had enough enough. This is like called running up the score. I'm gonna get out on purpose to to, to get to the bottom of the inning. Give Gamers Ground a chance. Go for it. Pitch. <laughs> Strike one. Strike two.
Strike three. See, now you're striking like me. <laughs> <laughs> Two outs. We feel bad. Go ahead. Strike one. Strike two. <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. That's, that makes me feel a lot better, Steve. <laughs> That's the only way to, 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 to not have a chance for him to catch it is if you is if you hit a home run. Then it's, then it's, not, then it's no question. Then it's just home run, you're done. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll really, after this, I'll really strike out. <laughs> oh, man. It's just a rhythm, it's a rhythm game, basically. It's like, it's like a very basic version of Guitar Hero. 12 points, so it's 21 to 1. We were winning by 20 runs. And wouldn't you know it, I'm terrible at Guitar Hero too. <laughs> All right, go for it, Pitch. Swing. Strike one. Well, his, his bat is really, like, interesting. Why is he bent over like that? I guess it's, it's supposed to be, like, a side view, but, like, it looks weird for the front view. All right, strike three. That's the finally we head to the bottom of the inning, and now Gears Grimes will get his last licks. Maybe it's actually, like paraplegics playing baseball or something maybe that's why that's, that's why, why they're bent over like that <laughs> all right are you ready you ready yeah all right here we go ball good eye good eye good eye nice hit possible double a guitar here in a Model 1 would definitely be interesting. I, I don't think that would be possible. <laughs> My guy's just a good fielder. <laughs> what out? S supposedly, like, there's... I mean, this is just random chance here. Here we go. Next batter. It's a possible double again. If I catch it again, there's something weird here. Look, I'm not touch my, my hands are not touching it. <laughs> Do you think this is, like, fixed towards me? I feel like it is. You see that? No hands, folks. I didn't do nothing. All right, pitch again. That was a miss. Strike. Strike one. Now you're not even trying. <laughs> Chose two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the third inning. Here we go. It could be the last pitch of the game. Ooh, that was a good hit. Possible triple. Get those hands up. Come on, let's see what happens. I don't think he's going to get it. Oh, uh, nope. Oh, he missed it. He didn't even move his hand. He just left it like that. He could have moved it a little bit. All right. You got a man on base. Let's see if you can get him to score. There he goes. What's the point of drawing those, like, outfielders? They don't do nothing. Those, I don't think there's even outfielders. I think those are the infielders. All right. Here we go. Here comes another pitch. Could be the last pitch of the game, too. It's a hit, a possible hit, possible single. This could score the man in from third. Unless my guy can catch it in the game. Which he probably will. No, he won't. He missed it. Oh. Well, there we go. He missed it. And the run is going to score. Here's the throw to the plate. And he's out. No, fortunately not. So now it's 21 to 2. Here comes the next batter. It is Gamer's Grotto himself. Here comes the pitch. 
Ah, you swung the wrong place. Strike one. Sounds about right to how I wish. <laughs> when I'm done, I should break into the code listing and do what? Uh, is this pitch coming? And ball one. So one and one count on the Gamers Grotto. What do you think about this here game, Joe? Well, Bob, I think it's been a really good game so far. I've drank like three pints of beer and uh, ate ten hot dogs. Definitely sounds like a good game. Possible double or possible catch. Yeah! And he's out! And that retires the side. And that's the end of this game. Called early on account of rain. We have the final score. Stu's team, 21. Gamers Grotto, 2. And yes. Gamers Grotto well, pitcher has an ERA of 47.3. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And that's the story of how the Expos ended up not in the national, in the, in the Major League Baseball anymore. They were defeated so badly by Stu's team. Anyway, I'll, I will... Gamer's, probably Gamer wants me to look at the code listing so we could do that. I'm going to exit the game. Let's, let's look at the listing. Oh, we're a liar by accident. A lot of pokes. Pokes like to draw graphics on the screen. But I, I mean, I can, I can get a printout or something and like look at it if I want to, theoretically. But here is... Is, is there a code in there that says if your name is G underscore Grotto, lose miserably? <laughs> I doubt it. I didn't know what you're, it's not like I knew what you were to type. Delicious games. How's it going, Delicious Games? So machine language arcades of the tier of are pretty fast. Think of the big five tiles. The big five tiles are awesome. This, however, is a basic game and it's not very fast and it's not really even an arcade game. It's just like a it's a simulation. But it's, you know what? It's not bad. The prior Game Boy Twelve says, "Wow, it's like a programming course." It's not bad. Um, so. Interestingly enough, the, the vote of the chat was that this game, Batter Up, micro, compute, micro baseball game, was better than the tape, the CeeLo tape, including The Hobbit. Um, not The Hobbit text adventure, but The Hobbit quasi-weird RPG, which we couldn't figure completely out. And I agree, I, we had, I think we had good fun with this, so I'm glad we tried it out. Another, another good stream. And uh, I enjoyed it. So again, first of all, I want to thank Gamers Grotto again for, for being a really good uh, good loser. <laughs> for allowing me to beat the pants off him, which, which he knew would happen. But he still came and took it like a man. So we appreciate that, Gamers Grotto. And uh, Pirate Gamer Boy 12 says, You can theoretically copy this game yourself by going through the video and manually typing it all. You could, but then you'd probably even be crazier than I, me I, and the Gamers wanna, Grotto. <laughs> I want a refund. Um, one more time, I, again, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, please like this, this video, but make sure you subscribe. We're going to play a lot more TRS-80 games. I have, like, on my shelf here, I want to say at least 50 TRS-80 games, originals, that we've not streamed yet. There's probably more than that, so I definitely intend to play more TRS-80 games. The next stream that we do, will though, will be hopefully the final iteration of 3 and 3, so I'm finally going to beat that game, hopefully. But thanks everyone who was here. Um, thank you, Delicious Games, for joining at the 10th hour. Oh, Steve Rasmussen says Donut Dilemma. Is that is that a vote? Sounds like a vote. Thank you for joining as well. Thank you, Pirate Gamer Boy 12, for being here the entire time and being here early. Thank you, Stars Manny and David Price for all your great comments. Thanks, Jim, who, who was here. Thanks, Mark, who was here. Um, I think. Oh, Dorian Kane was here, I forgot. Dorian Cairn. And uh, that's mostly it in terms of people that are actually active in the chat. And then, of course, the Gamers Grotto. Thank you. Evil Miera dropped in. Ninja dropped in. A few people dropped in. But Gamers Grotto, thank you so much for being here and for uh, helping me uh, to actually demonstrate this game. Because if I did it by myself, it would not have been nearly as fun. Yeah, no problem. And guys, make sure you check out the Gamers Grotto's channel. He streams um, lots of um, full motion video and adventure games primarily, it looks like. Not only, though, because he did Alan Wake recently. But I, yeah, I stream uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PC, and VR. PS4, PS5, PC, and VR. So check that stuff out as well. 
but he does not do TRS-80 yet on his own channel. We have, we're going to have to convince him to do that. Um, until then, you'll have to come here for all your TRS-80 fix. So thanks, everybody. Again, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Have a great night, everybody. It's been an hour and 38 minutes or so. Thanks, everybody. Cheers, Stars Manny. Cheers, everybody else. Peace out and have a good night. Thanks, everybody, for joining.